Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And here's a neat little, this would, I'm gonna go out a couple days and engrave this out in the shop into a 3D effect and see what it really looks like. And I might change it up a little bit, but this is simple, easy, uh, kind of fun to play with. I think I'm gonna do one with colors. So let's do uh, control, holding down the rectangle tool. I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. And in this case, this is very important. Control D and make a duplicate. Hold down the shift key and bring in that second box. Select them both, control D and make a duplicate and rotate it 45 degrees. Now take your smart fill tool and fill in one, two, three. Select those three smart fill tools and weld them together. Now they're all one piece. Get out your interactive fill tool and just do about like that. Let's zoom in here so you can see it. Now we need to double click right here and add a light color. I'm working to CMYK. If I was going to do it real, I'd change it to RGB. And then you can, you can add colors by going over here and grabbing the black. And then you can play around with this and play around with the intensity of the black. You could actually even add another one and have a little bit more of a lighter color for a longer time in that time frame. And I just remembered I was going to do a color one. So let's do colors. Let's get a red and put it there. Let's get a red and put it there. And let's get a yellows and put it there and there. So you've got that done. You know where the center of the page is. I'm going to go ahead and bring in some indexing lines and hit P, P. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to double click on it and get the rotation and I'm going to have it snap to the center. Sometimes it doesn't look like it is, but it is. And then rotate that 45 degrees. Control D again and rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Then make sure you select it all. You don't really have to do this, but take away the outline by going up here and left clicking no outline. That's a pretty cool effect. Uh, you could do it with more than that, but it looks like it's going under and over. So the part that's going over looks like it's actually curved, or at least it does on that one and this one. Maybe not so much here, but it's up and down. And it looks like it's the it looks like the the two squares are intermingled. Anyway. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.